Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everyone? We are playing Prismatic Party. We are on Pengu's Party. So, two parties, two for one deal we've got going on. And I'm going to take Disco as my first augment. I don't know what I'm going to take as my second, as, as my first um, trait thing. I don't really know which direction I'm going from that, to be honest. Like, I don't know what I want after taking Disco, but we'll see. We'll see. That's not too much pressure. We hit a Kiana and a Malphite. Super nice. Means our opener can can just be Duelist Heavenly Behemoth. Just put the Malphite in next and we're chilling. And I still make decent decent value here with the Disco Bull. I get three units on it. It's not awful. I would love to slam some Kiana items here. Maybe Sterex plus Hodge if I get a tier. Otherwise, I don't mind IE Morello. IE Morello is also fine. But Sterex Hodge is probably the best I could get from these components. Unfortunate, but it's okay. I'm gonna buy the Janna because it's. Ooh, Builder Bud's good, but Duelist Crown is also just like complete bis. The thing is, I'm taking. I'm taking Disco Ball. So to be honest, I don't know how far into the Duelist I want to go. I think I might. Oh, that was... Okay, it's either Infinity Force or New Recruit. Or Build a Bud. I mean, that is all three augments I have as an option. I mean, do I really want... The thing with New Recruit is I get a dupe, which means I can hit the 3 star 5 cost. It's fine, I don't need a dupe. I don't need a dupe. Jax 3. Let's chuck that in. Okay, that's fine. I got another two. Okay, Jax 3 is not bad. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for like a, a Duelist 3 star, and then I can continue playing this board, or like a Malphite 3, but Malphite, Darius, or Yas would be better. But it's fine. I can play Jax 3 nearly the whole game. I mean, it's a great unit, and I get Econ. I, I mean, I really like taking Econ Augment first during Prismatic Party. And the nice thing about this augment is it's an Econ Augment as well as, um, oh, this is good. Econ Augment as well as a um, Strong Board Augment. I'm gonna slam Morello here, and then I'm probably gonna look to Steadfast Heart Jax. Just give him some tanky tank value, and then put him on the Disco Ball, and we're good to go, I think. This board looks good to me. Can I make Econ? I think maybe I can. Yeah, I can. I guess I'll hold Rek'Sai, if anything. So we pivot out of the Duelist and play towards our Jax, just because we we took Builder Bud. Oh, can you imagine if I had Trina with Jax 3? The way it works is it scales off your star of the, the unit. So I would just be feeding Nomzi infinite. Okay, this is a good win. Into a Morgana. Love to see it. The Merlo team is huge, honestly. It's actually huge for me. Hopefully no one hit Yordle. Oh, that's not good. Oh, two people hit Yordle. Mr. Curry, go easy on me. Okay, I'm looking for maybe maybe just a Zoe game then. I can always move these items off Jax later with the Golden Remover. Like when I have like Nought 2 or something, it's probably better. It's probably better. I'm looking for... Yeah, I guess Story Weaver, maybe Four Warden as well. I have two two decent options here. I really want to get Ghostly in for a Lowy. So maybe I will pivot out of the the team of Sivir backline. Maybe go towards Sniper Wardens instead. We'll have to see. Hopefully we can hit something good. Because right now I'm not loving our disco. Ooh, Teemo. It's a huge win. It's a huge win. Okay, this guy's literally a Prismatic Augment down on me. And I nearly lost. That is a disaster. It's okay, though. It's okay. Yes, Shimmer Scale. I mean, that Zyra is terrifying, to be fair. What we got? Four cost. Oh, Artifact. Oh. Is there something I can cook up here? The Jacks, maybe dupe the Jacks. 
Nope. Maybe unending despair? No, I'm not, I'm not really a shield guy. I mean, honestly, sniper's focus is probably best. This is a disaster. Listen, I'm re-rolling Tom Kench. I don't make the rules. Right, so Disco Bard with Sharima. Sharima Tom Kench. Sharima Forbidden Idol. That's good. That's good. That's gotta be good. Okay, that's gotta be good. Not to sell. Okay, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna go Tom 3. And we're gonna give him these, and we're gonna give him a D-Claw as well. And the guy's gonna ascend into a complete monster, right? I mean, that can't be bad, right? That can't be bad. Especially with the Disco 2, giving him a little bit of a bonus HP. Early bird today, yes sir. Nice to see you, Hawkman. Okay, so I'm Disco... I'm gonna go Disco 2, Sharima 1. Because I can just ascend my Tom no matter what anyway. So that's fine. I'm pretty sure if Bard has 3 items, Tom has 3 items. I just put Tom in second, and he'll ascend. If it's like set 9. So I go 2 Disco, 1 Sharima. And we just re-rolled the, the little Bardo. The little Bardo guy is getting re-rolled. So it's Bard Tom. Okay, now the other question is, do I play the trickshot version with the Story Weaver and the Soraka? I think it's this, right? Sivia. Zoe. Two, four, six, seven. And then level nine, I put in two more trick. Okay, I'm in for it. I'm in for it. I should have actually taken attack speed. That was a mistake. AP is just better for now. I mean, I could also just play the Mythic board. I feel like, to be fair, the Mythic board gives me more HP scaling. Just like 7 Mythic. I'm kind of down for that, honestly. No Story Weaver for 7 Mythic. Okay, my Jax is actually a disgusting unit. This guy's a beast. Okay. I mean, after we hit Tom Deeth, I'm pretty sure this guy's unkillable, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Mythic. I'm Mythic. We're changing it up. One. Out. 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 Hog Lilia. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm slow today. I'm sleep deprived. Don't blame me. Nautilus Way. Oh, I need Cho. That's in my shop. Nice. Okay, so two, four, six, seven, and then we go nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I have at least a rod. The only problem is for me to play four trick, I have to go ten. Unless I hit a mythic spat. And that is high key a little bit of a problem. Okay, you're gone. And I'm kind of down to chuck Mythic Arcanist in for now. Um, so we're going to play towards Bard next. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm happy. I'm happy with the spot. And then at level 8, we just add the add the trick shot in. People love lots of fun in 2 -bis. Thank you, Annie. May as well give Lily a rod. I have... Um, Golden Remover, so we're kind of chilling. We just gotta be careful for these for these pesky Vega threes when they come around. Those guys are gonna be the most difficult part of playing this game. Winnable? Oh, it's a huge win! It's a huge win. Okay, we keep the streak going. That's always good. Tiny but deadly Bard, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's crazy. JG, I think I've got to keep it for Rageblade. Unless I just go Lilia carry instead. I do love Buried Treasure here too. I might just have way too many items though. 
I think Tiny but Deadly has got to be better. Let's go Tiny but Deadly. I think it's got to be better. I'm double combat oaked up though, so... It's a bit sus. I think there definitely was an argument to taking Buried Treasure, slamming JG, and just going like Shojin Lily as soon as I hit, and then I'm probably gonna hit another Rage Blade for Bard anyway. Because then I'm carrying Lily up plus Bard. But I kinda wanna commit to this this Tom Kench Bard duo carry. Kinda wanna commit to it, so. It's a rough matchup for me. Uh I'm like full stacked on my backline because of the disco. So um this one just got insane value here. 6.4k damage. A boom. Scary. That is actually scary. It's okay. My bard will my bard will tank it. Guy's gonna be alright. Okay, honestly. This, and then we go level 8 and put in like Kaisa. And then I'm one-off exalted. I would love to put Bruiser in, but there's no Exalted Bruiser except Tom. I mean, I could put Nar in for Warden. That doesn't sound bad. But I could also just play for Portrait. We'll see. Ooh, Talisman of Ascension Kindred. Scary. Oh, the Talisman of Ascension plus um, the boss. That's a sick combo. I love that actually. That's gonna be terrifying later. Like that, they'll almost always proc talisman. But it's okay. Even if they proc talisman, my Tom is basically a talisman's unit when, when he procs his soul. No, don't do it to him. What do I want? I want oh, that Annie. Dude, that Annie is both my components. Oh, there's a Yoni with the same components. No one say a word. No one say a word. I'm just... It's just so good. It's just so good. It's so good for me. It's honestly so good for me. D-Claw. Rage Blade. Huge. Honestly, huge. Okay, I said double disco, right? Because then I can frontline these units and I'm not like completely cluttered. I'm not cluttered mind. Okay. And so it begins. And so it begins. Yeah, and so it begins. I think I'll probably end up doing the, the set 10 disco positioning with a bull each side. But for now, this is good. Because I want to split my my carries, my Cog and my Lilia and my Bard. Lilia probably holds Rage Blade till like second Rage Blade Bard. It's probably for a while, honestly. No reason not to roll here, but I just don't feel a a time in the shop. Never mind. What's happening? What does Disco do? It gives you scaling attack speed into the fight. And it also regens you max HP. Kind of like a D-Claw. Oh, that is not good. Okay, I mean, this guy's going to be able to one-shot my Tom. So we're really going to need to be able to beat this guy. With the rest of the comp. Nice, Tom 2. Instantly in, right? Jax 3 or Tom 2? I mean, I do kind of think the Bard's already better, no? I don't know, maybe I'm coping. Why not both? Okay, I'll fix the positioning in a, in a sec. I was just thinking about it. Now the Lily is crazy as well. Okay, let's see it, Mr. Tom Kench. This is your infinite scaling time. This is it. This is your moment. Yep. 
Yup, yup, yup. Nice. Hey yo, don't get to catch the streams much with time difference, but the YouTube continues to be great. Thank you so much, Jetty. I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Okay, we've split up the carries a little. We split up the carries. This is the strat. This is the strat. This is the strat. We're just gonna keep rolling after neutrals. Find our Tom 3 and this will be it. We need another two rods and a bow. I wanna go Rage Blade, Gunblade. Down to slam gargoyles. A bow is great. Tom Kench is even better. Another one of those, please. Please. Uh, it's not in yet. Oh, nice. Double bard. Nice. Tom Kench. The rule is you can't stop rolling after you hit something that you want. Only when you have a shop with nothing in that you want can you stop rolling. Because you have to ride the wave. I hope you guys know that rule. It's an absolute classic. Okay, this is it. This is as far as we go. But well, it's not really. But we're gonna lose, I think. No, so close, NT. Yeah, I mean, this is the power of not having trick show, I guess. But honestly, I'm pretty close. Five bots, five toms, not bad. Not bad at all. Um. Okay, I mean, final ascension's got to be correct, right? It's got to be correct. Because I'm a stool comp. A hedge fund also just means I can hit quicker. Which, you know me, I love hitting. I actually might go hedge fund here. Because if I hit, I just win the game anyway, no? I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Ooh, no. Okay, we have the 7 Mythic. I'd have to drop Jax and Alawi. Do I like this? Uh, no, I don't love it. Honestly, I don't love it. It's not bad though. It's, it's doable. It's definitely doable. Oh, I feel like I'm not as tanky without the Jax 3 in. Just get the Jax 3 and allow you back in. I mean, honestly, I can just keep the 6 Mythic. I think 6 Mythic is fine. We are getting another 6 Toms. Or was this reroll RNG on... Why was this reroll RNG on my run games yesterday? Holy, this is too good. Yeah, I want a Shoujin. Actually, mm, it's kind of Gunblade. I'll take a Shoujin. If there's a tier, I'll take a Shoujin. While you're here early, I am. I didn't sleep much, so I thought I'd stream early instead. I can't hit my fifth three star. Oh no. Doesn't the Yodel thing help you hit it? Doesn't the Yodel trait help you hit it? What's good, Sen? Yo, Waka, nice to see you. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm doing good. Okay, I need the Tom 3. That's our power spike. Tom 3. Oh, there's a Tom. There is a Tom. Not to alarm everyone, but there is a Tom Kench. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Probably gonna slam armor crit now. And I won't I won't itemize towards spell crit. I'll just itemize the second tank. We need one more Tom. Kind of down to dig here. I don't think it's bad. I didn't need to dig. That's Tom 3. Probably happy to go up actually. The thing is. 
Like, bot 3 is, is good, but... Like, if I don't hit it, it's whatever. It's probably better to go 7 Mythic, actually. Maybe I drop Jax now. Kaisa. And I'm playing non next level anyway. Whatever, I'm down. It's 9 gold. Okay, we got the Tom Kench 3, we're online. Now, is it good enough? That is the real question. We are online, but is it good enough? I mean, I just have complete Biss, man. He's Shereemed as well. Like, this guy. How much HP is that? 8.4k? Yeah, that seems about reasonable. This guy will never beat me. The only guy who might beat me is this Shimmer Scale guy. But I have other tanks too, which is pretty good. Okay, I, I kind of upset I didn't take Hedge Fund, to be honest. I, I feel like I'd be like 100 gold double eight here. Oh, interesting. It's probably support, because if we hit Moonstone, or if we hit Virtue, it's game over. Dude. It's the raid boss Tom Kench. It's him. It's the raid boss Tom Kench. Like, healing from this? Healing from this? Disco? Healing from, Sh I mean, max HP from Sharima. Best in slot, Tom. So I have Virtue, 7 Mythic, max HP, Sharima, Ascension, max HP, and healing from Disco, and best in slot, Tom. Like, if this Tom Kenj is not the biggest raid boss on the server, I don't know, man. Like, I have everything's perfect. Like, every single thing is perfect. Yeah, I might just get Soraka one tap, though. There is that. It's gonna happen. It's about to happen. Okay, well he was he was the, the biggest raid boss on the server. Until he wasn't. But we won anyway. So huge. I wonder if it tells me no, it doesn't tell me. I was gonna say, oh it's true damage, of course. He doesn't block any of it. I wanted to see if he blocked any of it. Yeah, we need to find a Nara again, and then that's our next unit. And then we're chilling. 10 Mythic Wear, Radiant Declaw Wear. Okay, true. There are better upgrades, but... Those are, like, unrealistic, you know? This is realistic. This is realistically for one of the best Tom Ken... I mean, those are probably the only upgrades, right? 10 Mythic and Radiant Declaw, or Radiant Items. That's it. Which just shows you how crazy this is, to be fair. Rod, 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 rod. It's okay. To be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you here, team. I'm gonna be very honest with you here, team. I'm pretty sure because I have red buff, rage blade, tiny but deadly, I don't need two rage blades. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I need to stop like three star units. Syndra. I forgot people just go crazy on this game mode. Syndra 3. Just Syndra 3. All we need to do is stop Syndra 3. Syndra. Oh wait, sorry. We need to watch the Tom Kench. Okay. 6.3k HP. So, Virtue of the Mart is still alive. Tom Kench is not taking a single inch of damage. 8k HP. Next ult. One more. I mean, it's just not even fair, is it? Hi Tom. Oh, Pengu's party today. Yes, sir. I might play some ranked later, but we're starting the stream off with a bit of Pengu's party. Look at this dude. Is that Kane? Oh, no. I mean, I really don't want this guy to hit Syndra 3. I should probably roll. I know it's not many rolls, but it'd be nice. I missed Desire. Oops. I forgot. I, oh no, I, I need her. I need her. She's exalted. Yeah, I nearly forgot that I actually needed her. I skipped Zaya on purpose, actually, then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this bot attacks quickly anyway. Like, look at this. I mean, it's over, team. I, I might even just, like, take bot out and see if Tom Kench can solo the fight. Like, just put him out for this guy. Swap the, swap the bard, swap the Lilia. 
Oh, wait, this guy has 0-3. It's over for me. He has double dupe. <laughs> he has double dupe, team. Yellow. Hello, Gammy. Nice to see you. Wait, but he actually just has double dupe. What's the counterplay? So, so. I mean, Hui is probably in, right? Just win anyway. If I had QSS, my Tom would win anyway. No cap. But I don't have QSS. So I don't know if the Tom wins anyway. If I can find a QSS, I win anyway. For sure. Like, I'm telling you, this Tom Kench is not gonna die. Honestly, I might just win anyway. I'm so strong. I'm so unbelievably strong. But if I find QSS, yeah, it's over. Like, if I find QSS, it's game over. This guy hasn't hit Syndra 3. No QSS. Probably a Huey item here. Thoughts on Adaptive? Thoughts on Arcanist spot. 20 AP for the whole team? I'm down. I'm down for that. Okay, I mean, honestly, I feel like I should play Lily or Overcog. Okay, this Nautilus is a problem. This Nautilus is most definitely a problem. But I do think I can win. High key. I actually do think I can win. My poor Nautilus one, man. He's just seeing his big brother Nort 3. Okay, well, I mean, the Fated guy I don't think kills me. Let's see. Alt. Nice. Good job, team. Huge win. Huge win. Huge win. This guy's going on 3, Sintra 3. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. I hold the units. I'm, I'm not a nice guy. I'm just that guy. Eight sex done is unfair. Yeah, it is. I mean, I honestly think if I had QSS, I can probably win this. And I do think there is like, there is a world where I'm able to win it anyway. You had Yodel with Prismatic Ticket first or went, yeah, that is a crazy spot to be fair. Okay, Tom Kenji, you have to one shot Nor now. Oh, I, that was not a one shot. I mean, if he kept ulting, like honestly, if he wasn't stunned, I think I win this. We can still roll QSS from um, Crab or um, next carousel. Crab or next carousel. I mean, I can also hit Kaiser 3, but honestly, do I even win with Kaiser 3? Probably with some good positioning, I do. Swap bot items onto Kaiser and, like, put a front line or something. I got two, two anvils here, right? I got two chances of QSS. No, just one. Ooh. Okay, trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Never mind. That is not bad though. Nice. 
No! I'm too slow. Oh wait, Nash's way. Oops. Oh no, Nash is Lilia. Well, I should swap them, but it is what it is. Okay. Tom, survive! Nice. Good job. How much HP? 10k. He was just healing to full, by the way, when the Virtue died. 11k. 13k. Not bad. Got this guy a Talisman of Redemption and we'll call it a day. How was dinner last night, mate? It was lovely, thank you. It was lovely. Was your, um, was your video game place with your cousin yesterday, Cami, or is that coming up? Dude, he's got the QSS. How did he roll the QSS? That's not fair. That's today. Enjoy, enjoy. How did he roll the QSS, man? That's not fair. Oh, gosh. Okay, honestly, I don't even think I win with QSS now. Now we're playing for a... Oh, wait. Okay, I think we're literally playing with, with dead. I'm pretty sure we're dead. I think, I think we might be dead here. The unkillable Tom is, in fact, killable. Spoiler alert. Kaiser 3. Let's just see if I can hit. I didn't miss it, did I? I don't think I did. Okay, I didn't hit. No! <laughs> we'll take it, that. We'll take it, that. The Tom was, in fact, pretty cool, though. I feel like if someone didn't three-star full cost, that Tom is unkillable. Did you everyone? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the goats if you made it this far. Thank you.